हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप ऑफ द सी सी टी वी इंडस्ट्री द ऐप नेम इज एक्स एम ई वाई ई सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज एक्स एम ई वाई ई ऐप एक्चुअली इज वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू download or install on your mobile phone after that we'll tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video video and please subscribe to our channel if you are a new one xmeye is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is also used to connect or to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet By using this app you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view but access all its feature like you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color and many more all the app have the same features means all by almost same features these are the common feature that i will tell you in this video so let us start for that you should open play store and search for xmeye and click for installed when you do that it will take time to download on your mobile phone when it is downloaded completed then it is start installing after that you should find the option open when you click on open it it is scan for up whether this app is safe or not if it's find safe then you are able to access the app so let the let all the step to be finished and this all the step are automatically done so now it is downloaded now it is start installing now it is installed up now you should find the option open Just click on the open. When you click on the open, it will give you a. Uh, just click on agree. This is the interface of the app. Now you find the option like forget or register. So I don't waste time or string because you can do by your own by using your email address. I because I make a video just for educational and training purpose. I just. i will tell you only those option which are which are necessary in this video so first thing you should do you should click on if you if you see the bottom you find the first option from the left side a uh, orange color computer screen just click on this when you click on this again it ask agreement just click on the agree now this will uh, the, you find the page here okay uh, if you start from the left side then you find the of the of the option like scanning qr code just click on that So here you find the option of scanning. Basically, this is used if you are in front of the device, and if someone send you that QR code, you should select the, our gallery also. So basically, the question arises that how you should get that QR code. So for this, you should open your device or log in your device. For example, if you are adding a uh, DVR, then you should click on the. log in your dad dvr and go to the option network and go to the option cloud id when you click on the cloud id you find that qr code over there so you should scan that qr code now another option is that if you see the plus sign button on the right side just click on that okay here you find the two option wifi config and manually add for example if your device and your mobile phone both are connected to the same network and then you should click on the wifi can be it will it will automatically detect your serial id and it add your device now i will select the option manually add so for this you should what should you do if first option ox option is the device name just enter the device name and now insert the serial number and where you get the serial number again you should log in your dvr 
in, in my case i am using dvr login so just go just log in your dvr and go to the option network and go to the option cloud id over that you find a serial number so i should enter my serial number now your device is added okay what we, what should you do just click single click on the test device and again it asks for a password please don't be confused here it as it is the password of the device you are adding please note device means it may be ip cam it may be wi-fi cam it may be uh, nvr it may be dvr whatever you are adding in my case i'm i'm using dvr so just i go for that just click so in this way you find that your device comes online now you see that camera comes online okay now I will tell you option one by one so starting from the right side second option is the screenshot option just click on that in this way you can take the screenshot if you want to record the live video of the camera then the, there is a third option this where the recording like icon is there just click on that when you click on that you start that timer start it means that your recording start okay when you want to stop just again click it now it will recording is saved in the default locations if your camera is audio enabled and you want to hear the voice of the camera here the speaker option which is cross just click on this in this way you are able to hear the voice of the camera if your camera is audio enabled in my case my camera is not audio enabled so you won't hear any voice and the fourth option is speaker op option if your device or your camera supported two-way communication then you are using this option just hold the mic enable permission allow only this time now just on the screen starting from the again right side the first option is hd sd when you click on hd the camera become more clearer when, when you click on sd the camera become more fluent but it take less, less bandwidth when you click on hd camera become more clearer but it take less bandwidth and the second option is joystick option but if I this option you are able to setting the cruise preset point and all the PTZ option and if you want a camera if you want to control the PTZ camera third option is again for the PTZ camera for zoom in zoom out and many many things like if your camera is very focal then you, you are able to view it now the fourth option and the last option of the first row when you click on this you will directly send go to the page of recording for example if you want to check the recording of the 20 second just click on this and here you find date time here so you can select the time and click on the play button in my case i don't have hard disk installed on, on my dvr so it won't show shown be me recording but you can do by your own like this okay it is very simple again you find the option 14916 so basically this is the option to change the view of the camera like this okay again like this so in this way you are able to change the view of the camera so the first option bottom of the screen is the 
setting option when you click this basically this is for changing the all the dvr setting like date time and remote playback user management all the things like that so this is advanced option there is no need to change so thanks for watching thank you have a nice day